Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back doing another Guilds of Ravnica Intermediate Swiss Draft League, and we've got Murmuring Mystic. Probably going to open with that. I think the Guild Mage's Form is a good card, and it doesn't commit you to anything, which is good, but I think the Murmuring Mystic is a much stronger card for both Demir and Izzet. So, also, we've got Artful Takedown, House Guild Mage in here, Watcher in the Mist. All good blue or Demir cards. Also have a Generous Stray in here. Healer's Hawk. Iron Shell Beetle. All these cards are good. We'll take the Mystic. Alright, follow-up pick. Best card is probably... Hmm. None of it's blowing me away. We could just take the Radical Idea. It pairs the best with the Mystic. Could take the Demir Informant. It's a body that surveils. And then there's Beam Splitter Mage, which is a fine card too. Still, it wants to be in the same deck as our Murmuring Mystic. That's for sure. It's a little more. It's a little more difficult to make work. Hmm. Dead weight in here too. Usually does not want to be in the same deck as Murmuring Mystic. I'm gonna take the idea. For some reason that's the one that stands out to me the most. So here we have Notion Rain. We have Status Statue, which does still work with Murmuring Mystic, and I you can definitely splash statue. Pretty good versatile card. And then there's an Is It Guildgate? I'm okay taking the status statue here. Or I could take the Notion Rain, like I said. Hmm. I think Status Statue might be better because of the versatility. Like I said, you can splash Statue pretty easily. Alright, so we have House Guild Mage. So a lot of good Demir cards. We probably just take the Night Veil Sprite. This is quite good. This is a good card too, though. I feel like the evasion is probably better. Just surveilling each turn is really strong. Another notion rain in here too. We're gonna take the sprite. I like this card. So we can take radical idea number two. I'm okay with that too, actually. What's this one do? Oh yeah. I mean you can surveil it, but I don't think that's the plan we want to go for, so let's take the radical idea. Be happy enough about that. So we can take the Gateway Plaza, or we can take the Golgari Guildgate. Um, this leaves us... Golgari Guildgate works the best with our status statue, but Gateway Plaza fixes for all three of our colors, which might actually be a little bit smarter. A little more difficult to play the Gateway Plaza, since you have to pay one to get it in there, but I think we'll take it. Here we can just take a Demir Informant. Jeez, that's a late banneret. Take it over a Dazzling Lights. I'm okay with that. So here we have a Leapfrog, a Passwall Adept, and a Wishcoin Crab. Leapfrog's pretty good with the Radical Idea. Probably wants to be in the same deck as the Mystic. Currently, most of our guys evade already, which definitely makes the Passwall Adept less attractive, but Leapfrog is definitely more of like an aggressive is it card, I would say, most of the time. You can still use it as a random <clears throat> random card that can trade too, I guess. Or a Wishcoin Crab, which is fairly underwhelming. I guess we'll take a Leapfrog. 
So Demir Locket, Maximize Altitude, Vidulcan, Mesmerist. I think Mesmerist is actually pretty good. We'll take it. I like I actually like what it does. Could take the Pitiless Gorgon, I'm okay with that. Otherwise never happened as more of a sideboard card. Wield a beam splitter mage. Didn't really see any red this pack. Also don't have anything that we can target it with currently. So seeing some late black. We'll take the Gorgon. I think Death Touch is good to have. Alright, we can take the altitude now. Huh. Alright, take a second one. Take the locket. Take the red card. Last pick red card. But we didn't see much red for the rest of the pack. So all we know is that we're blue. And we could be blue-black. We could be Demir if we want. But we don't have to be. Hatchery spider. Thing is big. So Whisper Agent in here otherwise. That might be the only thing. Otherwise, I guess there's a Muse Drake, which isn't bad. I kind of like the Whisper Agent, though. Flash aspect of it is nice. Necrolisk is more of an undergrowth card. Hmm. I guess a lot of undergrowth cards in here, honestly. But we'll take the agent. You can play a lot of these, and they, they do work. Gorgon number two, or Whisper Agent number two. Might be just a second Whisper Agent. Once again, the flash aspect of this card cannot be overlooked. Mnemonic Betrayal. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn. You may spend mana as though mana of any type to cast those spells. Card's kind of cool. Beginning of the next end step. So, basically get one turn to cast cards from your opponent's graveyard. It's not bad. It's not, uh, it's not amazing either. Kind of makes it so you have to get to the late game to really get some value out of it. I think Dark Blade Agent is definitely good. So we'll take that over the Poisoner and the Informant. We certainly have enough Surveil to really... Yeah, actually, Night Veil Sprite and Dark Blade Agent are really nice together. So we'll take the, the Agent. Lilith Giant, a little bit big, but not quite what I'm looking for. Veiled Shade, not blown away by that either. I guess we'll take the Dazzling Lights. Kind of makes sense with the... Uh, I don't know, with quite a few of our things. But I don't know if we're going to do the Maximize Altitudes. It doesn't strike me as what this deck wants necessarily. We are shaping up to be a sort of strange Demir deck. but So we can take the Burglar Rat here, which is not a bad card, but we don't get a lot of... This is more for an Undergrowth deck too, I would think. So we could just take the guild gate and probably be happy enough with that. Helps the mana base. Basically a free card. Hypothesis on the splash. Probably not. Take another guild gate or a burglar rat. We need about 11 cards to make a deck. Hmm. I can take the burglar rat. It's just a 1-1's one -one's not going to do much for us. I think we'll take one more guild gate. See if we find something more interesting here. All right. Radical idea number three. Got a lot of those. I guess the nice thing is you can surveil them, and it's kind of like a free card to put in your graveyard if you surveil it. Enhanced surveillance. Hmm. Otherwise, we take the Golgari Guildgate, get some more fixing for statue. We do have quite a bit of surveil. Still, I'm kind of on the fence of enhanced surveillance in general, though. We'll take the Golgari Guildgate. At least our mana base looks good. So, we can take the Pax Favor. Maybe we can build more Undergrowth now. 
can branch more into bug. Hmm. Guess we'll just cut the black card here. Otherwise, we take a wild. So well, I'm not going to play vicious rumors. All right, take the Saratok. Hmm. I think it'll all come together in pack three, but in the meantime, we're looking a little bit awkward. Rhizome Lurcher. All right, that could actually be a card we want, but then again. We probably want the Whispering Snatch. We've got a lot of Surveil. And it works really well to Sprite, too. I guess we can take the Lot Less Giant. Could be a finisher. Both of these probably aren't the cards to splash. Although the nice part about Pax Favor is, I guess a Pitiless Gorgon can technically tap to add green for it, which is kind of nice. All right, now we'll cut the black card. Hmm. Well, the nice thing is our mana base looks good. This deck does need some help, though. only have five cards for Murmuring Mystic, but remember that each of these are two cards for Murmuring Mystic, which is kind of good. Each of those equal two birds. Well, there's a nice pickup. So we'll take Mystic number two over the Artful Takedown and the Deadly Visit, despite our deck having zero actual removal. Second Mystic is a really big pickup for us, so definitely take that. Happily enough. Okay, we can take the Deadly Visit now, or we can take the Notion Rain. There's also a Glow Spore Shaman for Splash. Probably not either of those, so probably Deadly Visit. Like I said, our deck kind of doesn't have any removal, so Deadly Visit strikes me as a pretty good one to snag here. I guess I shouldn't say it doesn't have any removal. We do have Statue on the Splash. Dazzling Lights isn't really removal, but it's a combat trick. This has Death Touch, potentially. This has Death Touch all the time. Niv Mizzet. Jeez. So, probably just a dead weight or an unexplained disappearance here. I feel like the disappearance is the pick for us. It surveils for Snitch, and it's an instant or sorcery for Mystic, but dead weight's a better card. We're still going to take the disappearance. We're going for synergies here, and we have some pretty important synergies that we need to capitalize on. Okay, we can take Deadly Visit number two over Necrotic Wound and Wishcoin Crab. Seems fine. Okay, here we have Disdainful Stroke or Moodmark Painter. We need, we've got space for three cards and we probably want two to three creatures, so we can take the Painter. It's certainly playable in this deck. Just not great. Whispering Snitch number two, on the other hand. That's a big pickup. We've got a lot of Surveil. A lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. We'll take the Snitch over the Notion Rain and the Muse Drake. Dark Blade Agent number two, a perfect 23rd card, I would say. And at this point, we can probably even do some upgrades if we find any. I'm not 100% on how I feel about Lot Left Giant in this deck, but it may be just a big flashy finisher that we want. I actually think the deck came together quite nicely, believe it or not. I'm not even sure we need to play a forest for this statue which is cool. We could take the Vivid Revival, but we actually don't have that much multicolor, surprisingly. But there's really not much else, is there? 
Not going to splash any of those. All right. I guess we'll take it. Bit of a miss here again. Don't really need any of this. Um, as mirrors number two, we could technically play over. I feel like with the paint, the painter and the giant are actually pretty likely to just make the deck at this point. So we'll take Mesmerist, but I'm not convinced I'm going to play it over anything. Even the Leapfrog, I'd rather have Evasion, I would think. Vapors is a good sideboard card to have. Creeping Chill, we can actually do in this deck, can't we? If you surveil it, you just... It's like a free three po or six point life swing if you surveil it. I'd probably still rather have a Vapors out of sideboard. I don't think I would use that. Lurcher, on the other hand, is at least worthy of thinking about on the splash, but we could also do the Rishquain Crab because we have some... This card's kind of impressed me, but I'd rather consider the Lurcher just because it's an actual finisher we could splash. I guess we get a couple anyway. This card, I guess, could save my life if I'm surveilling too much, but we'll take a second Dazzling Lights. I don't know if it's going to make the deck, though. It does have Surveil on it, so I could consider it over like a Radical Idea. But I kind of like the Radical Ideas in here. So I could technically go down to 14 creatures, but I don't, I'm not, I mean, the radical idea is, you can count it as like a half or maybe even a third of a creature, because it draws cards so it gets you closer to them. But if we want Lotleth Giant to finish or Painter, we probably want 15. So maybe we just cut the Dazzling Lights and call it a deck. We still have plenty of Surveil for the Snitches. And the agents. And I think we have more than enough to get a bunch of birds out of the mystics too. We have the jumpstart stuff. We've got some got eight instants and sorceries, three of which can be cast twice. So it's like eleven almost. That's pretty good. And we can dig a lot with surveil. All in all, I think this deck looks pretty good. And we don't even have to uh, run a forest, too, because we have the Golgari Guildgate and the Gateway Plaza. So if we can cast Statue, cool. If not, whatever, we have uh, status. So, okay. And status is actually really good with the uh, Murmuring Mystic, too. Make it a 2 6 death touch blocker. Pretty good. So we probably want to be about even on colors. We have a lot of double black, no double blue, but more blue cards. So, yeah, do you want to err? Does that mean you err more towards black or blue? Probably black, but then... I don't know. I, honestly, I don't even think it matters. I think once we put all these in here, we'll, we'll be good. So we have four black sources already, three blue sources, and space for 13 lands. So we probably do this. Nine blue and nine black. Yeah, I like that actually. Oh wait, wait a second. Get out of here. Trying to pull a fast one on me there. Yeah, so 10 and 10 actually. Our mana base is way better. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, ten and ten is great. Great mana base. Cool looking deck. I don't know how enthusiastic I am about it yet, but Lurcher is something I could splash. Maybe it's something you bring in if you're, because like Mesmerist is admittedly not great for this deck. Now I could cut the Mesmerist and run another Dazzling Lights, 
just for surveil, snitch, dark blade agent synergy. It is really good with <laughs> Dazzling Lights is fantastic with Dark Blade Agent. Because they're tempted to block it, to kill it. You can Dazzling Lights, whatever. You Surveil, it gets the bonus. Works with the Snitch. More ammo for Mystic. I think we will. We'll, we'll try it. Okay. Cool deck. We could have considered the Lurcher, but I don't want to mess with the Mana Basin out of Forest. When we really just have no need to do that. So, I like it. All right, this is it. We'll see you round one. Round one, we're going to play first. If we're playing against another mid-range deck, we'll go second. No blue mana in here, but the fact that we have double mystic is pretty tempting. I think we're going to risk it. We do have ten sources of blue, too, which I think is a pretty big deal. So, hoping to draw any land. If we can draw any land, we can at least play the Painter. I guess that's not true. We have a couple more. We have a few more tap lands in here. But, uh, so I guess we really want, like, an island here. If possible. Okay. It's kind of helpful, actually. There we go, perfect. So let's play the Mystic and pass. They could have the Pax favor. So... we rip another blue I think we just take five I mean the thing is they attack whether they have the trick or not so I think we take five here the murmuring mystic is pretty important to our plan okay so another blue mana would be ideal that on the other hand Slightly less good. I think we'll just play the Mystic number two and then pass. And at this point, hmm. Yeah. I think we take it. It's a lot of life, admittedly, but if we can start ripping some lands here, we're fine. Okay. All right. Hmm. Guess we got to pass here. So we got to leave up unexplained disappearance, I guess. Hmm. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Probably need to do some damage prevention here. So, we'll bounce here. Spit out a couple birds. Keep that on top. I think we'll block like this. So we're taking five, which is dangerous, but it's kind of tough because I'm basically trying not to die to, uh, trying not to die to, uh, too many, well, I mean, if they have multiple pumps, I guess they get us, but, oh, well, all right. Okay. All right, pass. So we go dazzling lights here. Um, it seems fine to me, actually. Best use of mana here. Well, we do want to draw lands too. And this, I guess if we get rid of both of these, it sets up our painter better. Okay. I'm going to get rid of them both actually. We do want land. And then we'll, we can do another Dazzling Lights or we can do the Radical Idea. Hmm. I think we go like, let's see, if I have six blockers, put three in front of there, three in front of there, but then we die to shield mate if they have a pump. Hmm. So maybe we just go like this. A couple more. Hmm. Well, the snitch helps, but... Yeah, we might need the snitch, actually. So we'll put that in the graveyard and keep the snitch. And then I think the blocks are like this. I guess like this. Well, if they have like a team pump, that could be bad. We probably do this just in case.
Well, that worked out pretty well. All right, the dev champion, sure. So if they had pump, I think they would have played it. Double edit champion, huh? Okay. So we can do radical idea first. See if we draw land. Did get the land. So we need the snitch or we can do the painter. I think that we'll do the painter. Or we could I guess we can do radical idea, but I don't really want to discard the painter. I think we'll do painter. Pump one of our birds. I guess we'll get in for seven flying. Okay. Hmm. So I think we go like this, and this, and this. Okay. Hmm. Still seem pretty good to me. Gorgon. So we can do Gorgon plus Radical Idea. That seems like the best. Let's do the Radical Idea first, but actually, what do we discard for that, huh? Maybe we just Deadly Visit. Oh, but I see. I want the Snitch. That is a problem. I feel like gaining the life is big, but I also think getting creatures off the board is bigger, so we'll do that. as well as getting a bigger army going. Okay, so we'll keep both on top. Get in with all these things. Okay. Hmm. Well, thankfully we're drawing removal, so I don't have to worry about that. And we have a million blockers, so I guess it's also not very relevant. 
All right, so the play is six mana, three, five, seven's the magic number. We're drawing a deadly thing next turn. I would say we just get in with our flyers here. They're just going to cast this. So, get in for six flying. Play the Gorgon plus a Snitch and pass. Yeah, we know what we're drawing next turn, so it doesn't matter if I sandbag the land or not. Maybe they thought it was cheaper than it was? Or did I think it was more expensive than it was? Oh, they're just doing that one. Okay. Fair enough. So, I guess we can instant speed that, because I'm saving the deadly visit for a flyer, probably. All right, we'll pass. Yeah. Don't even have to show them the second deadly visit. No need. All right. So we're playing against Selesnia. We totally just won on the back of the Murmuring Mystics there, but we will take it all day. It's probably grindy enough where we can do Lurchers, but... Painter still seems good. Not great, though. Did help our clock. Saw a couple X1s, not a ton. I'm not convinced the Lurcher should be the the be-all, end-all plan here. Adding green un unnecessarily here. I think we'll just run it back. I do think that Light of the whatever is a pretty good card, though. Card is nice. Cause even if you kill it, it still punishes you pretty good. Well, we can keep this. It's a good-looking hand. That's good. Slow start for them. Beneficial for us. Hmm. Did we see the black mana last game? Not sure that we did. Oh, they're probably splashing for uh, Mephitic Vapors, would be my guess. Which is not a, not a bad idea, considering we just cleaned up on them with some little 1-1 one -one flyers. So, into turn, Whisper Agent. Seems good. No play, no land. 
That's good. Get the agent down. Turn into Demir Beats. So, fifth land, we'll take it. Can always dump excess lands later. Go leapfrog, go. No land, no play. Hmm. And a discard. Alright, I don't think we need to play anything. We have them dead next turn. Alright. Well, opponent got mana screwed, but we'll take it. We'll see round two. Playing first. Keeping. Nice hand. Very good hand. Even if we miss land, we have the radical idea to help us out there. So, sounds good. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want to play the radical idea. So, we'll leave up the Whisper Agent now. You can actually eat that Iron Shell Beetle, which is kind of cool. This is why Whisper Agent's so good. Keep that on top. Lock here. Kill that. Take two. They don't do anything. We go land Mystic Pass. They can prey upon it, but we're going to hope they don't. We'll get in for three. And pass. No attacks. Okay. That's a good sign. So, I think we just swing with the Whisper Agent. Then we go Leapfrog and Pass, probably. Could have done the Gorgon, too, I suppose, but not really worried about it. Looks like they're going to be playing a creature here. The Lurcher, 4-4. Four, four. Thankfully we can still block that. So we'll go Radical Idea. Agent, nice. Okay. Oh, it's a 5. Wait a second, why is it a 5? Oh, because of this thing, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so we go... Attack with bird. Could actually, yeah, it's kind of cool actually. Can use the status as a. That's nice. 
I think we'll do that. I guess we don't have to, though. We have the Gorgon. All right, I'm getting in. Change my mind again. Get him for one. Play the Gorgon. Play the Agent Pass. Okay. So we radical idea, discard, leapfrog flies, we get another bird, we draw a card, whisper agent's great. So we can actually swing like this, which is really nasty. Uh, no need for the land anymore. Siege Worm's pretty big. We've got the Pitiless Gorgon, though, which is nice. So Guildgate lets us cast Statue, too. That's pretty cool. We'll get in with our birds. Technically, I could cast uh, statue or uh, status rather to make the leapfrog fly, but I'm not feeling it. Could actually just block the siege worm and cast status. Yeah, they don't even want to. That makes sense. Oh, we can keep both of those. Okay, so playing against a undergrowth deck, tools we have against that. I mean, if we knew they have a bunch of X1s, we could do that. We do know they have the Poisoner. That's all we saw. Other than that, we honestly, we don't even have much of a sideboard. This, this actually helps them. So I think we run it back. Our main deck is pretty good. Okay. Definitely worthy of keeping. Opponent malls we keep. We're on the draw. Okay. So we miss the land draw next turn, we'll just radical idea. Could Dazzling Lights, too. I think we'll Radical Idea, though. Okay. That's reasonable. No play, no land? That's cool. Alright, so we go Plaza. And I think we actually... Uh, do the Dazzling Lights just to really guarantee we draw those lands. We want to be hitting our land drops pretty badly here. Alright, two lands. So, next turn we can draw the Guild Gate because we're going to play a three drop anyway. Sure. 
So we'll go gate, agent, pass. Next turn we can deadly visit. We're getting five lands next turn, which means we can play agent plus leave up unexplained. No, we could do Gorgon or agent plus uh, unexplained disappearance. Okay, so we'll take it. Plague Crafter, all right. So we go fifth land. I think we go agent, and what we get to do with agent is leave up unexplained disappearance so that we can block the trooper, and if they discard, we I guess we just bounce it. We don't have to give up our agent here. And if they just attack there... Guess we take it. Hmm. So we can bounce our own agent. And if we draw a land, we can... If it's a black mana, we can make a double play. We want to surveil too, anyway. Okay, so we'll keep that on top. We go land, agent, Gorgon, pass. We may just... Hmm. I think we can afford to take another three. I do kind of want to get some value off this agent. So I guess we block the 3-2. Uh, the okay. So we can kill that. Oh, that card's great. So they got a couple creatures back. We can... Deadly Visit the Lurcher to draw from our Dark Blade Agent. Um, yeah, we can keep the Whisper Agent. I don't know if we want to keep the... Well, I guess I can. Because I can Radical Idea and draw it. And then Surveil 2 again. Sets up a better Lot Less Giant. They're going to make a sacrifice, so I guess we want to... problem is the Whisper Agent doesn't really block the trooper super well though. So maybe we just dump them both and work on getting our lot less giant out. So we'll attack and draw here. Snitch. Okay. Hmm.
Okay. Didn't play the Child of Night, though. That's a bit strange. So for seven, we can play the Lotleth Giant. I think we do that. They don't have another Plague Crafter, so this is good. Make them lose some life, too. Can't hurt. Seven mana for a 6-5 opponent loses four. Not that bad. Okay. They get a Death Touch Duder. And a Child of Night, sure. So we can Radical Idea first. All the radical ideas. So we have five mana left. We'd probably go Snitch plus Leapfrog then. And I'm probably willing to trade. That's kind of... I didn't realize that aspect of Leapfrog. As flying as long as you've cast. Whether or not it's on the board or not. That's kind of cool. So I can trade my Snitch for a Poisoner. That's... They don't even want to do that. So, ooh... Perfect draw. Now we go Radical Idea. Start flying over top with that frog. And we don't need the green man anymore, so we can discard that to our Radical Idea. And start drawing cards and getting birds. I guess we'll leave up the Whispering Agent. And on our next turn, we can do Radical Idea. Probably for Lethal or pretty close, I imagine. Guess we don't even want to do that because Child of the Night gains him life. Alright. Six sounds good. Okay, cool. See you in round three. Round three, we definitely have a keep here. Opponent is mulling, so turn two, Night Veil Sprite, potentially turn three, Whisper Agent. Depending on opponent mulls to five, okay. They're on the play too, which is probably better for us that they're mulling to five on the play. Alright, so Sprite into Whisper Agent, and at this point we really don't need lands for the rest of the game, so good to keep note of that. Okay, so we'll attack. Keep that on top. 
does mean the Whisper Agent's slightly less good here, but we still want it. Probably. Alright, well, guess we can discard a Guild Gate, probably. Still keeping it on top. So, I think we dig one first before we dig two. Um, we can, I guess we can get rid of that. It's kind of, once again, it's like having a free card in your graveyard by doing that. Now, granted, you can draw a card from that already, too, which is true, but it's okay. So we play the Informant. Did I play a land already? I guess I did, didn't I? Hmm. Probably should not have. Should have played the Plaza. Oh, well, we can keep both of those, so definitely want that snitch first. We surveil each turn. Okay, so next turn we can snitch plus Night Veil Sprite, play the plaza. Predator is kind of a big deal. So we go Snitch, um, probably want to play the, oh, we, we just have a Dazzling Lights on top, okay. Dazzling Lights doesn't do that much here. We'll play the Plaza and attack with the Whispering Agent. Okay, so I guess we can Radical Idea now. Okay. Um, sure. So we'll go land pass. That's going to pull them ahead here, despite the multi five. Well, that's a good draw, I guess. It's a threat at the very least. I suppose we play it, especially since they're tapped out. They have to kill it. OK, 
Okay. Mm, Alright. Okay, I think we just sandbag lands now. We can do whatever we want with them. Kind of want to save the Dazzling Lights for a more important situation than this, but like basically for a Murmuring Mystic. Because Murmuring Mystic's not going to do us a lot of good unless we have it out, I suppose. So they can pump that two, four, three times. Okay, so we'll light. Yeah, we can keep both of those. Actually, both of those are really good here. Agent. Okay. Hmm. Guess I can't protect, so okay. So I guess we hang out. Hmm. I guess I can attack with both and unexplained disappearance the shade. Graveyard that. Get our snitch value. Pass. Alright, I think we just hang out here. So they can pump it four times now. So it becomes six, I guess. It's still enough to protect it with the informant here. So 
So we'll keep both of these. Uh, guess we want the deadly visit first. All right, so we'll kill this. Oh, well, we can keep both of those, but... Hmm. I do sort of see the dilemma. Okay. So we'll go leapfrog here. Okay. So they're basically just removal dot deck. I need to look if I have. I'm not sure we have any additional card draw. I'm just gonna make this challenging. Certainly a bad sign losing on the losing when they multiply and so that's not a good sign. I do feel as though we saw most of the lands in our deck in the top 15, 20 cards just as sort of a reason why we couldn't beat them on the multi-five. So we absolutely 100% want to be on the draw. Never wanted to be on the draw more in my entire life than this match. Even though we were on the draw and just got slammed and they multiply. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. So Watchers in the Mist now coming out. Alright, so we'll go to game two here. And can we do anything? Hmm. I mean, the giant and the painter are actually good because they're just going to be killing all of our guys. Maybe the Mesmeris. They do have the 1 4. But I feel like we need more creatures. And just maybe cut the dazzling lights. But they have synergy with the snitches. As we all know, snitches get stitches. Let's see. Do we cut the status statue? But no, the death touch is too important. So I guess we cut the... Uh, could cut the dazzling lights. They just feel like an easy card to cut. The radical ideas, I think, are probably too important with our mystics to cut. And just helping mitigate some flood, even though Dazzling Lights, I guess, do that too. Uh, this seems fine to me, actually. Alright, so we'll run it back. We'll play first, er, no, 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 sorry, play in second.
we want to be on the draw. Even if we've added more creatures, we want the, the card advantage here. All right, so we've got a good turn progression. All right, Dark Blade Agent. Or Ring Mystic's a good draw too, so let's get in there with the Sprite. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to keep that. It's actually pretty good protection too. So. Play the leapfrog. Pass here. Yeah, what's this do again? Surveil one. Comes a copy of Char Creature Card in your graveyard. Okay. All right, we trade. So I think we are going to play the Mystic. They have to kill it immediately. Or else we'll definitely be reaping some value. They do have a lot of means to kill it, but I don't really want to wait until I have six mana. It doesn't seem like a great idea. Giant. I mean, it's not a land, but it's a way to win in the late game, so I'd probably keep it. Because I have a feeling we're going to have some guys die this game. So, let's play the Mystic. Uh, good news for us, they did not play removal there. So we can leave Ump Unexplained Disappearance and keep our Mystic nice and protected. So I think we're going to attack with the Sprite first. To see if we can't find a land for a radical idea. Deadly Visit's good too. Does deal with this, but yeah, I mean, we need land. Hmm. I think we keep it actually. This is kind of challenging.
Can you do that whenever you want to? That's cool. So we'll pass. So they try and kill the murmuring mystic, we go radical idea into unexplained disappearance, bouncing it. Watcher in the mist. Okay. Could radical idea twice as well. Maybe ditch the painter, go for the lot less giant win instead. We probably have to do the radical. We need to find our lands. We need to get busy here. So I guess we'll ditch the painter. So our plan is to just win on the back of this murmuring mystic, I think. Kept both on top, huh? Jeez. All right. Oh, that's interesting. So we can actually kill Lazov here, huh? Okay. Could kill this, too. I feel like the Lazov is the better thing to kill. So we'll draw... Actually, yeah, we can just triple block Lazov, huh? Let's do that instead. That's way better. Or double block the Veiled Shade, yeah. I mean, either of those options are fine, but I want to keep the status for this Watcher in the Mist. I feel like it's way more brutal. Okay, so now we'll ditch the Painter. Hopefully find our fifth land. Problematic, to say the least. All right, so Lazav's gonna die. We'll lose a bird. Oh, they didn't even change the order. It's pretty good for us. Man, that's awkward. Man, that is so awkward. So we'll get in with these two. If they block, will status. Yeah. I'd rather lose a bird than lose my Night Veil Sprite. Then I guess we just leave up the unexplained disappearance. Dowser of Lights, okay. 
So we're going to disappearance now just because we're really digging for that black mana here. We need it pretty bad. Plus we have a little air force, so it kind of makes sense to me. At this point, if they kill Mystic, it's irrelevant. Mystic's done its job. I'll probably take any land. Obviously, I prefer the Swamp. Dark Blade Agent. We're going to get rid of that. does work well with the sprite, but... We're a little bit busier finding a swamp at the moment. I guess we'll keep that on top. At the very least, we can... Get rid of more creatures later. We have a better shot at finding our swamp at some point. Probably about as awkward of a hand as you could possibly have for our deck. Yeah, we literally have all of the remaining double black cards in our hand without the double black mana in a deck that has 10 black sources and we're halfway about halfway through our deck that is crazy so they can price a fame or whatever they need to do to murmuring mystic but we've got the air force so it's probably fine They've decided to just concede, I think, because they're low on time, which is a sensible move. Um, still thinking about these Mesmerists. Are they good enough? We saw a lot of 1-3s. Saw the 2-2s. Two I'm basically just doing them because they're beat down. Is that a good enough reason? It's not really. Maybe we do the Lurchers instead. So we'll do a couple Lurchers, and then we'll just put in another... We'll put in a... Uh, We'll put in another green mana. I think we'll take out a blue because we actually have a need for double black. So that's only three sources of green, though, for three green cards. It's not great. I think we do it anyway, though. We have plenty of ways to get rid of them if we can't find the green. All right, we're going to mull this one. Our opponent is playing first, which I think is good for us. Uh, so we got a mull. This one will keep. Whisper Agent makes it better. That's a good draw, actually. So, okay. We're in good shape. This hand's fine. Can do everything we need to do with this hand. Go, Guildgate, go. Ooh, spy bug. It's a good one. So we'll go snitch pass. All right. They're off to a pretty strong start here. So we'll go pass. Play the Whisper Agent to block the Veiled Shade, unless they play a second Swamp, and then I guess we won't. Well, I guess we still can. Hmm.
We probably do, I guess. So we play the Whisper Agent, double block the Veiled Shade. Mm, yeah, we can keep that. Well, we need the land though. Alright, ditching it. So we double block. Interesting. I see. Makes sense. The extra damage. Got the land, which is nice. So, get in with the... Uh, I guess we don't. We pass again. Leave up the Whisper Agent to double block the Veiled Shade. Uh, fifth land we definitely want. Double block again. So, that was a mistake. They didn't even kill our guy. Now maybe they just play a Watcher in the Mist or something. And we probably just kill, kill it. Continue to beat in. We're at Dowser and Lance. Well, we're going to kill that instead. So we can win this race currently. So do our one of green mana, kill the big dude, surveil. All right, they've had enough. They're like, you know what? You got me. Cool. Well, we ended up winning the draft. This deck played remarkably well. Murmuring Mystic is a legitimate uncommon monocolor bomb. It is just a bomb. So outside of is it did everything we needed it to. It's just absurd with any of the jumpstart cards. So not really... Uh, yeah, not really making a huge discovery here. We knew that Murmuring Mystic was really good since the first time we saw it and played with it, but this deck really got to explore that really well. Whispering Snitch played really well, too. Uh, didn't really get to do too much with the agent, but it was good. Um, all in all, very fun deck. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.